What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Nvidia stock for the morning update. I'll also take you over QQQ and SPY for the morning update and then throughout the day other stock videos will be also coming out and then I'll do Nvidia another video this afternoon once the market has closed with the options data and everything how things are looking like. But as for right now let's focus on the price session what it has done what is how to look at it and how things have been evolving as what we have been discussing so far. With that, I also want to let you know none of this is any financial advice, only for education purposes. So guys, we have NVIDIA still below 20 days moving average. You can see we did go up a little bit. However, we rejected not just at 20 days moving average. I'll, as I'll show you some more data, let me take you over there first. So let's mark this over here for now. Uh, that's where 200 days moving average is and let's go to the hourly interval. You can see very closely, very closely, we, not just very closely, we pretty much rejected at the retest of that 200 hours moving average. So let's go to the five minutes interval. Let's see the scene over there, what's been going on. So you can see we were going up in the pre-market, however, when the market opened, we started to give up just around that critical important levels of the 20 days moving average and also the uh, 200 hours moving average. Now, one of the best ways to, uh, you know, take a look at these multi, multi time frames is that you can select the layout and you can choose, you know, multiple layouts here. So you can have multiple time frames um, showing up on your screen. That's how I click. I do the trading. So this rejection, you can see a couple of minutes of rejection, led it to continue lower and lower and lower. Now, where is it finding support? Is this support strong enough? So let's talk about all of that. Um, let's actually go to, I'm seeing, you know, some buying happening in the five minutes interval. That support so far is coming up at one of our significant level. And that is 859 almost okay now i'm gonna get rid of that red line over there up on the top so it all comes down again as i have said between 20 and 50 days moving average expect nvidia to be choppy this is where it's gonna go directionless you're gonna see a lot of choppiness between 20 and 50 days moving average and that's what it is doing what it comes down to for the day is if nvidia closes the day below 859 or put it simply below 860 then it just again starts to uh you know look more and more bearish on the intraday yeah today it's bearish and also you can see we are still in that lower high so what we were talking about yesterday if nvidia can break out above both this 200 hours moving average and 876 it tried that up there, tried to go up, but rejected at 200 hours moving average still. So in other, in other words, it's not, uh, I mean, you can see it's entirely not bullish and we still are having this lower highs forming lately. Now, the thing is that 858 or 859, if we stay above this level today, we close above this level, then for tomorrow, which we'll talk about later as well in the later uh, you know, evening video. Um, but if we close uh, in between the range of 859 at 876, nothing really changes from yesterday, actually. It's the same play. It If it breaks above 876, same play we are looking at if it also breaks about 200 hours moving average, and then it can go again back to $906 at least. However, if we close very close, lower than it, close to down here, $859, then tomorrow there is a high expectancy that uh, this thing will continue lower and this is the bottom of the distribution phase and then you know we are pretty much testing 850 dollars level and this area of 834 where the previous these uh double bottoms were formed that led nvidia to go up there right but so far at least i am not um you know, uh, seeing a uptrend on the hourly interval, I'm seeing those rejections happening with the lower highs. But that's the thing. Between 20 and 50 days moving average, you have to expect this to stay choppy. There is nothing much you can do, guys, here. 
you have to trade intraday only, not swing. Um, if you ask me where the swings would be, right? Uh, that is, we have to lose first this distribution phase down here, the box, the bottom of the distribution phase. This is the support of the distribution phase. And with that, we would also need to lose this, uh, uh, this 50 days moving average is that that's when you can expect some more strong confirmed cool off for a couple of days back to back but until then no this thing you look that's the thing between 20 and 50 days moving average guys it's a choppy thing look at it from when from 4th of april now today is 17th of april what have we done we have just another form another distribution phase another set of choppy zone right so that's that's where it gets critical that we break to the one side and if the ship has to turn right these are the things it has to go through such big cap stocks which have so much of moat behind it like things are to the moon right so um when these big ships have to turn you can expect these distribution phases right otherwise uh these ships don't turn they just keep going up when analysts are Day after day, day after day, they are coming up with um, the the coming out with their upgrades. There were a lot of upgrades. Three three upgrades lately. We have also had again on Nvidia, and here you go. Nvidia again rose thirty percent more, so thirty percent more, and all that stuff. They will keep coming out, right? They don't worry about technicals. They just want to pump it up. Just if it's in one direction, they'll just keep raising it price target by price target by price target. They'll just keep pumping it up. But anyways, we do the technicals here. Okay, so that's that's that, guys. It uh, looks like it's slowing down. So if I take it to the five minutes uh, level again. Uh, so next candle, a little bit coming red. But let's see. It, uh, that's the thing. 860 and 859 is the zone you are watching. And how close we close to that uh, level to the downside right 859 and that level yeah okay so that's that guys one more thing i just want to surface in your attention is that you can see how 200 moving average or trend direction line is curving as well to the downside slowly and slowly right every time bounces are happening they are being sold off sold off right um yeah so that's your NVIDIA for, for the day, guys. Let's take a look at, uh, I, unfortunately, I can see Tesla is also selling off today. I'll do another video as well on this, but let's take a look at QQ and SPY. So QQ is just at the brink of collapse, another flush leg down, collapse about to happen. And uh, this thing, yeah, as soon as, the, <laughs> as soon as this starts to lose this bottom, you know, you can just expect this thing to, continue lower okay that's that's the thing to watch on this so yeah this thing can continue lower in my opinion it has a room to 421 easily and then 412 as well and 200 days moving average right now yeah it's in the downtrend i have already been talking about this was the swing oh sorry this was the distribution phase right and once we lost those levels like level of 441 we started to lose that level and then also some of the significant level as we start to lose uh, 439, 435. Yeah, this thing I have been saying is in the, uh, it will continue lower and that's what it is. It's at the brink of another leg down. As soon as it loses 429, looks like it's right over there. Yeah, you're at least coming down to 425. It's This is a flush zone. I don't know if it's going to happen today because the morning hours have passed. That's when the huge volume is. Let's see if in the aftermark not aftermarket sorry mid mid market market lunch hours or mid midday or closer to the end of the market if it still sells off but yeah this is the flush zone if it can't hold here if QQ wants to become bullish again it first needs to regain and close above 432 within a day or two today or tomorrow it's not i don't think it's going to happen today but you know just wanted to uh, put that level out for you guys. SPY is also bearish. Uh, that's something I've been saying. SPY flush level is, yeah, pretty much below $502. So as if it loses $502, there's just a lot more upside. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, a lot more downside. It's about at the brink of just flushing. If it wants to, it can just flush. Yep, 477 is the next level after the flush of $502. So, but yeah, in my opinion, 
it's it can do that what will make spy bullish again look at this anything is possible we are just building the confluence on where are most of the variables are falling in the equation and right now they're on the downside if spy wants to become bullish again it needs to recapture some structure and first of all for that it needs to close a day above 506 dollars by tomorrow at least and then regain 510 by the end of this week so which is friday just two days out so a lot of work that spy would have to do to to recapture all those areas uh, right now it's in the direction going down let's see again this is the thing if it can hold these levels of 500 to 503 then it has a chance to turn itself around but right now i'm not seeing any of that this thing if it loses i'm gonna continue lower direction is to the downside we are in the downtrend lower highs lower lows look at it on spy we are lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows so easy peasy all right guys that's all for this video if you found it helpful and valuable please hit the like subscribe and with that i'll see my other videos guys take care bye